what's up everyone? Oh, Marco Bonner, TigerFitness.com. Check it out, guys. So I got an email. I actually thought this was worth answering. And I don't know who I'm going to piss off or, um, or who's going to disagree with me, but I actually have a pretty clear-cut opinion on this. But it's not as clear-cut as it could be because, well, I'm a libertarian and I believe that there are worse things in this world than steroid use. Um, heroin use, cocaine use, even marijuana use, I'd say, would inebriate you more than steroid use. I mean, you know, John Romano once said in an interview um, that I believe it was on Bigger, Stronger, Faster, if it kills people, then show me the bodies. We keep hearing about steroids killing kids and killing people and killing this. And yet we have not one documented case of uh, actual clear cut documented case of death from steroids. When you can point to heroin, you can point to other drugs, cocaine causing heart problems. I mean, you get enlarged in the heart, but athletes have naturally larger hearts. So who's to say that steroids have killed anybody? I haven't seen any data that it's killed one person. However, that's besides the point. This comes from a man, Steven. Steven says, hello, Mark. It's titled Fan Question. I've been a fan of you for over a year now and watch your videos regularly. Thank you. I recently watched a video interview with your friend Dorian Yates discussing his steroid use back in his days of competition. Um, the interviewer asked him a question I would like to present to you. He was asked if his son won to a cycle, would he approve? He answered yes to this question. I was just curious as to what your opinion on the subject might be if Thomas came to you with the same question. I anticipate your reply on the subject and have the feeling this might be something your other viewers may be interested in hearing as well. I have two beautiful young children, two beautiful young boys. I also have a female daughter, <laughs> a girl, who uh, is an athlete. So obviously, as you know, through uh, a various Olympic athletes who've been outed for their steroid use, that um, steroids are a part of female athletics as well. Um, Here's my thing about steroid use and, and kids and, and all that good stuff. Now, steroids obviously help. They help with the performance. They help them recover. They help with everything else. They're also illegal. Okay. And then I point to the fact that we cannot let government dictate what all of our, our, our thoughts and our, our actions are in life because some of these laws are fucking stupid. Um, for example, anal sex is illegal in a lot of states. In the South, gay sex is illegal, and I'm all for homosexuals doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, in some states in the South, and even in the North, there's some antiquated laws. Um, also remember in 1990, when they did ban steroids, that the DEA themselves said that steroids have no right to be banned. So that's one thing. So um, from a legal standpoint, yeah, they're illegal, and I do not want to encourage my children to do an illegal activity. However... Let's say that my child has to commit assault to defend someone else's life. Um, in some states, if you defend somebody, you can still be sued and you can still go to jail. Do you teach them right from wrong based on your ethics and your beliefs or based on what the government tells you is right? The same government going into countries killing innocent civilians. I'm not going to abide by old laws of this great nation because some of them are made to be changed. And that's why we vote, right? So that's besides the point. That that gets the legal issue out of the way. The legal issue for me is a non-issue. Let's scratch that because it's a big gray area for me, okay? Now. Okay. I have stated publicly many, many, many times that I do not recommend steroid use for anybody who doesn't have a medical condition. However... If you do decide to use steroids, you better know that it is a huge commitment and it's something that you need to live with. And I believe it's a lifelong commitment. And if you cycle on and off, chances are you lose most, if not all of your gains. There are some people who don't. I know you'd be like, oh, I did a cycle 10 years ago and I kept every bit of those gains. All right. But the guys who are really big and really awesome year round, they're on a lot of shit. All right. A lot of shit, meaning they're on shit year round. They don't come off. So my whole thing is... And, and again, you gain it back sometimes if you cycle. So if you like doing this and that, that's fine. Now, if Thomas came to me and said, hey, dad, I want to do steroids. And let's say he's 17 years old. I'm going to advise highly against it because he's still growing. He's still maturing. Now, I also know that being someone who did play college sports, um, well, was about to, then I got injured, whatever. 
as someone who knows people who play college sports and the drug use that's rampant in college football, college basketball, college athletics in general, it is a fact. It happens. Am I for it? Am I against it? I'm indifferent. Um, I know that to compete at that level, that might be what they need. However, I'd ask him to look at really what he wants out of life. Um, if he doesn't have a medical issue and he wants to do steroids, you know, I'd explain it to him. I'd explain the pros. I'd explain the cons. I'd explain what can happen. I'd explain that maybe one day he might not get his stuff back and he might have to be on HRT for the rest of his life. I'd explain the positives and the negatives. And also there's something to be said about reaching your genetic potential naturally. However, at the end of the day, we give our kids the tools it takes to make ethical decisions. The other day, my daughter was on the school bus and a girl was getting bullied. And my daughter, rather than go with the crowd, stood up to the bully and say, you leave that girl alone. My daughter made the right decision because I instilled those values and those ethics in her that no matter what now, she would have fought that bully if it came down to it. And the school was against, you're not allowed to fight, right? Is my daughter doing the wrong thing by protecting someone and beating the living shit out of a bully? No, I would go to the school and I would applaud that girl because she did the right thing. She stood up for what's right. And she stood up for that little girl who was getting teased. And you know what? Oh, sometimes you just make those decisions that are just, just right. Okay. I didn't mean to cry during a steroid video. I'm sorry. But that's honestly the proudest moment of my life. Um, what she did. I mean, I'm so off topic now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. As a parent, you try to instill values and try to make them make the right decisions. And once your kid's above the age of like 10 or 11, those values are in there. Once they get to high school, if you haven't instilled those values, it's going to be hard to instill those values in your children. So it, I hope that the values I instill in them between the age of zero and 10 and 13 can carry on. And then it's just pretty much maintenance from then on. Because once they're in high school, the peers take over. And that's where your upbringing takes root. And if you've taught them the right way, they'll make the right decisions. And I believe so far, I've taught them to make the right decisions. So if Thomas and Cammie and Preston, if they come to me and say, Dad, I want to take my, my play to the next level. I want to do steroids. At least they're coming to me, man. How many of you, most of you have tried weed, right? It's illegal. It was illegal unless you're in Washington and Colorado. What if you tried weed? How many of you have done cocaine? How many of you drank while underage? Did you tell your parents? I'd be honored that he told me, first of all, and I'd also realize that he's not an idiot because I, I mean, come on, dude, I'm a bodybuilder. I know what steroid use looks like. If he blows up like 30 pounds, he's not going to tell me it's the fucking beef protein. All right. So it, it, I was eating steak, dad. I was eating a lot of oats. So, you know, the thing is, is that I want to make sure that I instill those values in my kids. But at the end of the day, it's their decision. And at the end of the day, I can only do so much. My daughter, my daughter scares me to death. Because she's cute, um, she's athletic, and I know it's going to be an issue with boys. But hopefully I instill those ethics in her that she's not doing what a lot of girls in high school do. I was in high school. I remember high school, guys. For those of you in high school, you know those girls in school, you know. I remember that. And I, I hope to God that I, I instilled values in her. But at the end of the day, you can't do anything about it. I can't beat up every boy who comes around the house. I can, but I won't. You know, so you really need to kind of cut the umbilical cord at that point and say, I've done all I can and it's time for my upbringing to take root and then just maintain as you go and keep instilling values and ethics in them as they get older. So if Thomas comes to me with that question, I'll advise him not to do it or to do it. Uh, most likely not to do it. I don't think there's any need for him to ever use steroids unless medically warranted. Or if he wanted to take it to that level and he's made that educated decision, but that's their decision. You know, I can't, the more you tell kids no, the more they're going to rebel against you. That's why I make sure with sports, you know, do I, I look, I'm not a soccer player. I, I, I used to make fun of soccer players. My kids love soccer and I make sure that I let them know they do not have to play soccer to have my love and to have my admiration, have my attention. And I like to make sure that um, they have my support in whatever they decide to do. And if they do decide to go the route of anabolic use, I'm well versed in it. And I'll, I'll at least be able to tell them how not to hurt themselves and not to 
you synthol and insulin. And also to keep it in perspective and not to get bigorexia and not to get anorexia and not to get all those things. So if they do decide to make that decision, it's their decision. But I hope I instill the ethics that their decision-making process is where it should be at that age. So this is a great question. Um, it's just like asking, do I want my kids to use marijuana? Do I want my kids to use cocaine? Albeit, I put steroids in a different level um, as those. But you know what? The answer is no, probably not. But at the end of the day, it's their decision. And I got to hopefully, hopefully I've laid the foundation for them to be good, ethical, and caring adults and responsible adults. And judging from what my daughter did on that bus, her and our neighbor, uh, this little girl next door, literally this little girl's getting, getting made fun of. And they stood up and they said, stop making fun of her. And Cammy did that. And I mean, that's those ethics. So if they can carry that on to every decision they make. I don't know if I answered your question, dude. But I think I did. The bottom line is it's not my decision. It's my kid's decision. And whatever I decide, if I'm with it or not, they're going to make it. You know, just like the old school people, like, I don't care if my kid's gay. I don't care if they date black people, white people, hell. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I love everybody. I, everybody needs to make that decision. But I got to accept them for what they choose. And I'm going to love my kids unconditionally. And they're going to make some stupid fucking decisions, just like I did. Just like you did. They're going to make some dumb decisions. And all I could do is, if they fall on their face, pick them up. All right. I've had enough, guys. Um, thanks for watching this. A question went off topic. It's all about parenting for me. It's about instilling those values. I'm Mark Lobotter, TigerFitness.com. Ah, Cause crying on steroid videos. It's not a game.